plug this these together. We're gonna open this waterproof thing. The idea would be to put cords in here, seal it up, and there we go. We have a watertight compartment for our smart plug, which works over Wi-Fi, and then we will connect these ends to our Christmas lights. Right, it's time for mail time. I got a great package from newvending.com. So newvending.com, they sent me some, they sent me a package with some stuff. I'm gonna put their link in the description. Let's take a look at what they sent. They definitely sent me a cable. So this, this is a standard USB cable with three ends. Lightning adapter is the one I, I care about. And then we have uh, some micro USBs. They also have a A19 smart plug adapter. I don't actually have a use for this. Most of my A19s, most of my bulbs are just bulbs. I don't have a lot of cords, but if you, this is this would be great for like a garage or something where if you had an outlet and then you wanted to smarten it up. These are our smart plugs. And this is what I'm interested in checking out from them. So they come in two packs. Uh, I'll put links in the description to their Amazon, uh, their Amazon store. But they are the standard smart plugs. They have a hard button here to switch things on. They have a little indication light. And these work with the two yeah. They work with the smart light. So I believe they're just like the two years. I am hoping to use these guys to replace my existing RF outlets that run a lot of my accent lights throughout the house. I can't get status from the RF, so I just they turn on, they turn off, but I can't get status. So I'm hoping that these guys will give me status in home assistance. So we're gonna play around with that. And then the other thing that I really wanna use these things for are with a project with this, which is an outdoor, this is an outdoor extension. Like, uh, you know, it's meant for Christmas lights. You can put the extension cords in here and it just protects the extension cord. But what I'm hoping to do is, I'm hoping to add one of these guys in here so that we can control some of the Christmas lights that are outside with radio, uh, with. Wi-Fi, so the Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi range is pretty good in the front of the house, so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to connect these, sort of waterproof them, and then control the Christmas lights that I need, those strands that are just like sort of on the bushes and stuff, as opposed to regular timers. I've been using these with my security cameras to, to weatherproof a lot of their connections, and they've worked that well. I'll put a link to this as well in, in the description. These, these were pretty good. So that's what I'm hoping to do with these smart outlets, potentially replace uh, potentially replace the RF outlets that I have now, so I can get two-way status in the in home assistant, and then smarten up some of the Christmas lights outdoors, you know, weatherproofing them with that weatherproof box. And then we do have one last item that they sent. This is for a, this is a standard four USB charging station. I actually like the way this thing looks. So it's just the. It's just a standard USB, USB ports in the back, uh, USB charger, and then what it allows is there's these four slots for our, for our phone. So you connect these dividers in here, and then you put your phone sort of in here, and it's just a neat way to organize uh, your charging. It's just gonna keep things a little bit neater over there, so you'll expect to see a little cameo of this guy once it's all set up by the coffee maker in a, either in this video or in a, in a future one. Mess with these smart plugs. I really think that these could be pretty inexpensive and then if it works with outdoors and I'm able to sort of waterproof them pretty inexpensively with these, I think that's a, that's a very good solution. The current outlets that I have outside are the GE outlets. Uh, I use those in the Halloween video. So this could be a pretty good solution for that. So we'll see how it turns out. But again, I wanted to thank newvending.com for sending me this sort of gear to play with and uh, see what I could do with it. And all right, let's get into the video. So we're gonna launch the Smart Life application and we're gonna hit the plus in the top right corner and we're gonna add this electrical outlet. Uh, we need to plug it in to a wall and then make sure that the light starts blinking. Once the light's blinking, like most of these apps, you enter in your Wi-Fi, it finds it and then it sets it up so that the outlet itself can connect directly to your Wi-Fi. At that point, we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it New Vending 2. I have four of these that I'm gonna set up. You can see that my circle 
sees it immediately on the network once it joins the network. And then, of course, the Bearstone HA Twitter account also tweets that out that we found a new device in the home. I'm actually going to create four of these. So we'll just jump ahead and you can see uh, that there's four. But each one of these devices can be turned on and turned off through the Tuya app, through the Smart Life app. So here's all four of them all set up. So now that I have all four, I'm going to go into one and I'm going to create a group. Now this is something you can definitely do in Home Assistant, but I'm going to add these just in the Smart Life app because I just want to do a quick demo. So we're going to select them all and then we're going to give this a group name. I'm going to call this Front Christmas because these are the these are the smart outlets that I put in the front of the house to control all of the different lights. So you can see everything's off. We click the button and then we turn everything on. So that works great. So let me show you where I've added these. So we have one here. We have another one hiding here. 